the question a lot of people ask me is how to make their own website. So I wanted to show you how to get a basic website, how to edit it, and how to add some more features to it. So first go to Wix.com. Okay, and you can see that there's a sign in button up here. So after you get started, the next thing you want to do if you come in again is go to sign in. So first click on get started. My information is already in here. And if you sign up and it says your email is already there, just click on forgot password. But we're going to do this from the very beginning. So click on sign up. Okay, click sign up. So you can start here or you can press skip. I'm going to take you through this because this actually might be something that's helpful, helpful for you. Okay, and then you choose what you want to do. So if I'm creating this for somebody else, I can click there, but I, if, for you, most likely you're gonna say myself. Um, just click here, so it'll walk you through most of the setup. New site, um, what I'm gonna look for, let's see, fitness. I have somebody who wants a fitness website, and I'm gonna do choose a template again. And I'm just gonna find the one that kind of speaks to me. This is one of my favorite colors. So first I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you view it. I wanna see what it looks like on a real website. So this is the layout of everything and I can scroll down and kind of see what it looks like as I move. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and if you wait a second, it'll pop up and ask you if you want to edit the site. If it doesn't, we have this up here. So I can click this, I can go back, I can click edit here. And then sometimes you'll see it, it pops up on the actual screen and says, do you wanna edit the site? So I'm gonna click out of here and I'm gonna go back here and just say edit. And now we are in the editor. The first thing I want to show you is the menu. And the menu has two different parts to it. There's if you click on it, like I just did, there's manage menu and navigate. When you navigate, it allows you to go to each of the different pages that are in the menu. When you click on manage menu, it allows you to edit all this information. Um, one cool thing about this before we do anything else, you can grab these little boxes here and that helps you to drag your menu. So look off to the right and you're gonna see the home button move to the end after contact. So if you looked over here, you can see that home is now after contact. If I move it up, it is now before contact. One other neat thing is that you can hide certain pages if you're still working on it. If you want to put a link to it but don't want to show it on your main page, you can hide it. So you just click this button right here. You see the little eye. And when I click it, it goes away. Uh, once I click it to show, you can see that it popped back. So probably want home to be at the beginning. The other part about the menu is that you don't want to have a ton of information um, across your website. So I'm going to look through these menu buttons and see what I can get rid of. It looks like they have a lot of it on the same exact page, which you can actually do through here it's just scrolling down the page as I do certain things I like this too it kind of has all the information about your the time and the name of a class over here and then you can say book now I do believe it's an extra fee to book on here but I can show you some tips on how to get around that if you if you do want people to sign up and um, pay you so let's go back to our menu real fast I'm gonna click on manage menu and show you a couple of different neat things that you can do. Let's say that you need one more. I don't know why you would need more than, what is that, six different tabs, but let's just add another one for fun. Um, we can actually even make this one um, hidden if we want to, but we're gonna make something fun. Let's say that you're gonna have a contest of some type. So I just type in contest and click done and it just added it in there for me. But let's say we don't want that in there. I can go down here and click on delete, but say, 
oh no, I didn't want to delete that. Just do Command Z, Control Z, or right click, undo, and it will pop that right back in there. So now you can see contest isn't gone. Now go ahead and manage menu again. I'm going to take it out of here for real because we don't have a contest to put in here. I wouldn't overload your website. I think sometimes it becomes too busy and then it's overwhelming and then people come, look at it, become overwhelmed and then leave your page. So I would keep it as minimal as possible, have all the important information up there so people know how to contact you, know how to book online if you have that option, how to get in touch with you to ask you questions. There are other different things that you can do that you can add different things from this list. I would go through and just experiment with it. So once you add everything that you want, and let's say that we wanna change this background picture to something that we have, you can click here and it will go into your own images. You can upload your own or put it in from your own computer, or you can use something that they have here. We're just gonna put this um, for now. It will actually play this video when you can see your website, which I'll show you in a minute. But you can click anything that works for you, whatever, again, speaks to you. Um, it's your website. You do what you want with it and attract the people you want to attract. So I'm going to go back to the one that has the, the movement. So let's say that you want to test this out and see if it's a good background for you. You can kind of see it here, but like we saw in the view at the beginning, you can save the site, but then you can preview it. So let's click on preview. And this is what it's going to look like when other people go to your website. And this makes no sense for a personal trainer for the most part. I don't think you're going to be in an office with a bunch of computers. So let's go back to editor. And I'm just going to click on the background and then it gives me the option to change page background. And I'm just going to change it to something that I'll actually use. There we go. Somebody running. That's pretty good. And then now you can see, we can get into all sorts of things, but you can see that the text is too light for this. So let's go in here and edit text. There are many different things you can do. I would go through all of them, but right here is where you can change the color. So you can hover over everything and kind of see what works. I think a black would work against this. And then let's say that we want a different font. You can choose whatever you want, whatever works for you. There we go. Okay, and then the book now, you can also, you can change the design and you can change the text. So if I say change text, then I, I can change it here. So let's just put like a dollar sign after and you can see the change in there. Um, this will also link wherever you tell it to and you can put it to another web address or you can also do it to another page. So if I say page, then all I do is find the one that I want it to go to, um, however they had anchor selected. And if I mess up, all I have to do is click off of here and say undo, and it changes it back. You didn't see anything happen, but it did. And now I'm going to go to the design and show you, you can change the button type. You can also customize it to be whatever you want. So just like we did with the text on the other one, we can change the color to black. And then let's see, we also have the um, corners, you can have the border. We can even make the border bigger. We can make it smaller. We can change the color. And let's say we like the color, but we want it to be a little less obvious. So we make it, we mess with the opacity there. So there, there's a ton of different things that you can do. I don't want to go too far into this because there's a lot that we can cover. Um, as you scroll down, just make sure everything is filled out. If you don't, this is what people will read. So if I say preview, this is what they're reading. It's exactly what was there. So make sure you update everything. I remember seeing one once and it was talking about a swim school when it was definitely not a swim school. So I thought that was kind of funny just to see that somebody forgot to update one of the pages. And it's for all the pages. If you don't want something to show, remember, go to manage menu and say, okay, we don't have plans yet. So we're just building out our site. We're just building out our site, so we're gonna hide this one. And it takes it out of there so no one can click on it. The only way they can get there is if they know the web address. That's the last thing I'm gonna show you on this part. 
So to change the URL, and this is kind of getting a little fancy, but if you want to change the URL part of your website, and again, I'm showing you how to do a free one, uh, you will want to change it here. So it says plans pricing. I'm going to say, I'm just going to say plans. Okay. So now when people go to this page, this is going to be their URL and you can see that it changed. So if I change it again, plans for my site. Um, you can see that this is updating as well. That's that's a little bit much for if you're just learning how to do a website, but it's kind of nice when you tell somebody, oh, it, you can't see it, but go to um, Sarah Rudine's site. <laughs> so it's this whole part and then Sarah Rudine's site. So I'm going to go back to putting it to plans. Something very easy to remember. Okay, and let me click out of here it'll save it for you automatically and then go ahead and click that one other thing um, we can preview it again but I want to show you this part so it says enter your site for mobile and now we're in the mobile view uh, you'll see all of this just uh, you can skip it or you can go through it and kind of figure out what you want it to look like this is kind of neat because it gives you the different options um, for what this does based on what you choose. I'm going to say scrolls with page. And when you click on next, you can choose where your buttons will go. Um, this is so if somebody's looking at on the phone, they can decide uh, what they want and uh, or what they'll see when they're looking at your site. And then you can also put this button here. Um, when they click on it, that just shoots you up to the top of the page again. That's pretty nice so that I don't have to sit there and scroll or find different ways to get back to the top. So I would recommend having that on your mobile view. And let's click on next again. You can watch the video if you want. I'm going to go to the editor. Okay, so again, you can see that you can switch between both of these. Something that's really nice, when I click on preview here, this is what it looks like as if somebody were scrolling on their phone, but let's say, oh, I wonder if this part needs to move um, to a different spot. You can go and look at the desktop view again, and it shows you what the desktop view looks like. So if you know that you need to edit something in the mobile view, and usually when you look at it in mobile view, it won't mess it up um, in the desktop view, but let's say that we need to move our, or this whole section to a different spot then you can do that with mobile view without messing up the desktop view. Remember you can go back and forth through these views and make it mobile friendly and desktop friendly for all your viewers. And again, don't forget that your website doesn't have to be super complex. Um, something simple so they know how to reach you. Don't overwhelm them when they come to your site. The last thing that you want to do is publish. I'm not going to publish this because I really don't want anybody to see it. But when you save, you can see that this is where they're going to go. Um, if you have a domain already, you can click on this and it'll take you through. But because we're learning how to do the free site, I just wanted to show you this part. So my site, I can change it to Fitness by Sarah. And most people won't have, well, no one else will have this um, heading. So you won't have to worry about anybody taking it. And then when I say save and continue, then your site will be ready to go and you can send this link to people and they'll be able to look at your website. So those are the main tips I have for building your free website. Look through the tools, especially the ones on your desktop view. Look through here. There are so many cool things you can do like video, especially with all the pandemic stuff going on. You can add videos from YouTube. You can add videos uh, into your own site really neat options that you can do if you're trying to teach people online. Again, there are so many different things you can do with a website, but these are kind of the basics to get you started. Play around with it. That is the way that I learned how to use this. I usually go to YouTube if I need to figure out how to use anything, but overall I just play with stuff and see what works and what doesn't. And then I'll play with it on my phone. I'll play with it on my desktop. I'll go to the actual link and see what I need to change. I'll click on all the links, make sure that all these little boxes are correct and say the correct things, that all of these actually link to what I want it to link to. So make sure you test it out. And then after you're done testing it out, go back and have a friend or family member, somebody who's going to be very honest with you, tell you what they think about your website, and then you'll be golden. So those are my tips and my advice. And 
I hope you're able to get some value out of this and kind of see what you can do for your website. That is all for now. I will catch you next time.